Hello everyone! In this quick video, I will show you two free softwares you can use to improve your product photos and store's design, which eventually will make your listings more appealing for customers. And your eBay store will thank you. Let's jump into it. So. For the people that want to take photos of products and then edit them, I suggest to use these two free softwares. They're called LightShot and Canva. So the first one is LightShot. I will add the link into the description for easier navigation. It is a simple and convenient screenshot tool. It is simple because you select an area, edit your screenshot and upload it to the server. Let's go over their website. All right, guys, so this is the LightShot website. I'm just gonna go over a couple of the features that they offer. First off, we have the fast screenshot of selected area. This app allows you to select any area on your desktop and take a screenshot with two button clicks. They have the option to share screenshots via internet. You can upload your screenshot to the server and get its short link right away. You can do a similar image search. You can find any images, select it on your screen and find dozens of similar images. And it's an easy to use application with powerful editors. You can edit screenshots instantly when taking them or later using a powerful online editor. And there are various platforms. Uh, LightShot is available for Windows, Mac, Chrome, Firefox, IE, and Opera. Down below, you have a couple of these videos that you can look at, see examples of these couple screenshots here and it's super easy and simple to use. So, in my opinion, LightShot is the fastest way to take a customizable screenshot. Simple interface, nothing useless, and it's lightweight. So now, let me show you how I edit pictures of my listings on my eBay store with LightShot. I wanna uh, mention that every Windows a uh, PC has this option, which is called the snipping tool. And an easy way to find it is just searching for it on your laptop PC. Just go ahead and write snipping tool here in the search option. So now that you have your snipping tool ready, you're gonna jump with your supplier and you're gonna find photos of the product that you want to edit. Okay, and here this looks like a good photo. So let's go ahead and use this one for our example. So you're gonna use your sipping tool, you're gonna select new. This will then give you the option to basically on your screen, select the photo that you want to use or the place on the screen wherever your image is located. You can actually just go ahead and crop it. And then as soon as you let go of your mouse, it jumps into the snipping tool. So from here, you're gonna go under file and you're gonna save this image. Then, of course, when you save it, you're going to go ahead and name it for easier navigation later on when we do jump into Canva. All right. And this is the Light Shot Chrome extension. You can go ahead and just Google that and get that extension. And then you can go ahead and pin it up at the top. This is just easier navigation. So now using LightShot, let's go ahead and use this photo for the example so you can see what it looks like to crop. So all you do when you have it pinned to the shortcut, you're just gonna go ahead and click the light shot icon, and then you can go ahead and select the area that you would like to crop from your screen. And again, just put your mouse to the corner and then bring it all the way down. And once you let go of the mouse, this is the image that you will have. So right away from here, LightShot gives you the option to edit the screen share or the screenshot. So you can add text, you can color, you can add stickers, arrows, and so on. And then once you have everything, you can just go ahead and save, or you can just save the image without adding any additional texts or arrows or stickers and so on. So we have a bonus option here, which is remove background. And I wanna show you really quick how this looks. You can go ahead and type in remove.bg slash upload. And then you can go ahead and upload the image to remove the background to any image. Quickly, let me just show you how that works. So right away, as soon as you upload the image that you want the background to rem be removed from, 
it, you just upload it and it automatically does it for you. You don't have to select anything. It will be done for you. If you're satisfied with the result, you can go ahead and download the image. All right, so now that we got that down, let's talk about Canva. In Canva, you can make many things from editing pictures, videos, and ads for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and more. It is very easy and friendly to use. So let's actually jump over to their website now. All right, so on the Canva website, once you uh, get into it, you will be asked to provide your email address, and then they will ask you what you are using Canva for, and you can go ahead and select small business, personal. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and select personal, and you can go ahead and start a free trial, which they are offering, or you can go ahead and select maybe later, keep going next, and you're actually inside of the Canva website. Here in Canva, you have home, you can use templates. There are free templates and you can use social media, personal business, marketing, education, or trending. Then you have the features up here. You have photos, icons, print products, apps, explore or download. And then you can learn, of course, they have courses, tutorials and a blog, which is super convenient because you can know exactly what feature is for what and how to use it. And then of course you have their pricing. You have free for individuals and small teams to create and download design for any occasion. You have pro enterprise education and nonprofits. Besides that, you have the search bar. You can search for your content or canvas. Here you have presentations, social media, video, print products, marketing, office, and of course they do offer more. In Canva, you can design anything from scratch and also edit any type of photos. So I encourage you to watch some tutorials on YouTube about it. You can also make special designs for special offers, sales or holidays. Customizing your eBay store and listing will result in a higher conversion rate. Now, let me show you how I edit my pictures and my listings on my eBay store using Canva. All right, so now let's jump into Canva. We're already here in the dashboard. So let's actually go ahead and create a design. Here you can select custom size and you can do the width and the height and the amount of pixels. So this is great option here in Canva. Now from here, you do have some of their options that you can use, but you also want to upload your very own images because you are talking about specific items here that you actually want to sell. So it's important that you use the images from your supplier with a little bit of editing. So what you're gonna do now is actually just upload the images that we edited in Lightshot when we removed the background and use Snippet for it. So because our cards do not have any background, we just have regular cards and we don't want the background to be white necessarily, you can find backgrounds here in Canva. So you can basically search for anything and that could be the background of your photo. So what we're gonna do is actually search for, let's say marble desk, because that's kind of a neutral background where it will allow our image of the cards to actually pop. And if we don't have the results with the marble desk, what we're looking for is just a marble background. So we're just gonna delete desk and leave marble. And you can already see that there are so many options here. Let's go ahead and take this uh, darker background for this example. So here you can play with the size. You can obviously enlarge the image so it can fit the uh, dimensions uh, that you selected. And you can also move it back and forth to see what texture of the marble you want to have on the image. So when you're ready to upload one of your images, all you have to do is go over to the left hand side and select upload and then you can upload media. Here you'll have the option to select your saved images. So again, at this point, you can play with the image that you're putting onto the background. You can make it bigger, make it smaller. You can rotate left and right, whatever you choose to do with the image. 
Then if you wanna add some text, you can go ahead to the left hand side and select the text and you can do any size here that you have. You can do the add heading, the very first one. We'll do that one for this example and you can write whatever you would like on your image. And you can obviously choose the font size, um, the style, the color, and so on. So when adding a color, you can just scroll through the options and select the color that you want. And then at this point, it's just up to you where you choose to put the text and how you want your final image to look like. Here you also have the option to add free shipping. It could either be an image or text. I usually go with the image. Um, there are some free stickers that you can use. Others are for Canva Pro. So again, now it's just about playing with the image. So once you have the final image complete and you're satisfied with it, you need to press on share and then scroll down and select download. You can save it to any standard that you want. Once you select the file type, you can go ahead and click on download. And that's basically it. Now you just take this photo and upload it to your eBay for the item that you're selling. And of course, after a couple of times, some practice, it will just become really easy and you will already have a theme for your eBay store and it will go quick. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we will do our best to get back to you. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.